Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you about profit prior to incorporation. Actually, a company uh, will come into existence from the date of incorporation. That means it will start getting the profit only after incorporation. But sometimes a newly incorporated company will take over a business from a date prior to the date of incorporation. Example, a company was incorporated on 1st April 2018. 1st April 2018 is the date of incorporation. But the company takes over a partnership business from 1st January 2018. That means before incorporation itself, the business has taken uh, the business has been taken over. So any profit earned before the incorporation date is called pre uh, profit prior to incorporation. So here a newly incorporated company may take over a running business as from the date on which which is prior to the date of incorporation. So simply it says a company. Uh, has taken over a business from a date which is prior to the date of incorporation. So before explaining further, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I will explain all the points in detail. <clears throat> now, in such cases, the business is purchased first and the registration of the acquiring uh, registration of the company will take place later a company will come into existence from the date of incorporation but the business has been taken over before the date of incorporation so any profit earned before the date of incorporation is termed as profit prior to incorporation here i have given an example Thus, a company incorporated on 1st April 2018 may take the business of a partnership as from 1st January 2018. Actually, company was incorporated 1st April, but the business was taken from 1st January. So, January, February, March. These three months, the company was not incorporated, but the company is running the business. So, any profit earned during this three months period, January, February, March, is called profit prior to incorporation if the business is to be purchased from the date of incorporation stock taking must be completed and the balance of various assets and liability must be extracted why the business is not taking over from the date of incorporation because the old business was a running business we cannot stop the business in between actually the business will be started for example for example from 1st january so business will close the accounts on 31st December. This 12 months period is the accounting period. All of a sudden in between we cannot stop the business for stock taking and calculating all the closing all the accounts. It will be difficult for the business to be stopped. That's why the business will be taken over from 1st January itself. But later on the incorporation was completed on 1st April. Now, to avoid all these trouble, the business is conveniently purchased on the date uh, of last balance sheet. So the last balance sheet was 31st of December and 1st of January onwards new business was started. So the company will take over the business from 1st of January itself, but incorporated on 1st of April. Now, According to Companies Act, a company cannot earn profit before it gets a certificate of incorporation. That is, it cannot earn profit before it comes into existence. There is a provision in the Companies Act that a company cannot earn profit before incorporation. Because incorporation date is the birth date, birth date of the company. So the company cannot earn any profit before incorporation. That's what the provision according to Companies Act. The profit earned by a company from the date of taking over of a business to the date of incorporation cannot be taken as profit earned by the company. This profit is called profit prior to incorporation. Very simple. In examination, a question will be asked, explain about profit prior to incorporation. So you must write any profit earned by the company before the date of incorporation. That is called profit prior to incorporation. This profit cannot be treated as revenue profit and it is not available for declaring dividend. Dividend will be paid only from revenue profit. 
Revenue profit means any profit earned after incorporation. So if any prior period profit is there, profit before incorporation is there, that profit is not a revenue profit. It is not available for declaring the dividend. It's a capital profit and should be transferred to capital reserve. So after the formation of the company, whatever profit is there, profit prior to incorporation, that profit should be transferred to capital reserve. It's a capital profit. The profit earned after incorporation is a revenue profit. So any profit earned after the date of incorporation is a revenue profit and it is available for declaring the dividend. In short, profit earned before incorporation is called capital profit and profit earned after incorporation is called revenue profit. Pro capital profit should be transferred to capital reserve. Revenue profit is available for declaring the dividend. That's it. This is the complete explanation about profit prior to incorporation. Now methods of calculating profit prior to incorporation. How to find out the profit prior to incorporation? There are two methods available. The first method is simple, but it is difficult to apply in real practice. <coughs> How? A separate profit and loss account is prepared for the pre-incorporation period. That means the business has been taken over from 1st January 2018 and the business was incorporated on 1st April 2018. So what this first method says on 31st March 2018 we close the accounts. We close the accounts for three, three months. January, February, March. So as usual, we prepare profit and loss account and we find out the profit during this three month period, January, February, March. We close the accounts on 31st March because from 1st April onwards, it's a company. 31st March, it was not a company. So we close on 31st March 2018 and prepare the profit and loss account for three months, find out the profit. So simple. Accurately, we can be able to find out the profit prior to incorporation. So on that date, incorporation stock is taken, final accounts are prepared and the old books of accounts are closed. That means for this three month period, the accounts are closed. And this method is simple and accurate, but at the same time inconvenient and expensive because business activity have to be suspended for a few days. So from these wordings, it's very easy that in three months we have to close the accounts, we have to find out, we have to prepare, prepare the profit and loss account, find out the profit from next day onwards, new accounts of the company will be prepared. It's very easy, but in real practice, it is inconvenient and it is expensive because we have to stop the business for a few days in order to close all the accounts, in order to take the stock taking, etc. That's why this method is not followed in practice. Theoretically, it is okay that for three months we will close the accounts. But the second method is very important. This method is really applied in practice. Under this method, the following steps are involved for a, so ascertaining the profit or loss prior to incorporation. Now what is the second method says? Now see carefully. A trading profit and a trading account is prepared, should be prepared for the whole period to ascertain the gross profit. The first thing is, we have to make a trading account for the whole period. Whole period means pre-incorporation period and post-incorporation period. In our example, the date of incorporation 1st April 2018 and the date of taking over of the business 1st January 2018. So from 1st January 2018 to 31st March 2018, three month is the pre-incorporation period. From 1st April 2018 to 31st December 2018 is the post-incorporation period. So 3 months pre, 9 months post, combined together 12 months. So we prepare the trading account for complete 12 months period to find out the gross profit for the whole year, 12 months. First. Second, calculate the following ratios. Two ratios we need. One is sales ratio, the other is time ratio. First, sales ratio. We have to find out how much are the sales during the pre-incorporation period and how much are the sales post-incorporation period. Example, the sales before incorporation was 2 lakh and the sales after incorporation was 9 lakh. 
तो टू लाख रुपीज आर द सेल्स बिफोर इनकॉर्पोरेशन नाइन लाख रुपीज आर द सेल्स आफ्टर इनकॉर्पोरेशन तो रेशो विल बी टू इज टू नाइन टू इज टू नाइन टू बाई इलेवन नाइन बाई इलेवन दिस इज कॉल्ड द सेल्स रेशो देन सेकेंडली टाइम रेशो how much time period is there before incorporation and how much time period after incorporation in our example i have taken 1st january to 31st march to so january february march 3 months 3 months are pre incorporation to so remaining 9 months are post incorporation to so ratio will be 3 is to 9 the time ratio will be 3 is to 9 so we have calculated sales ratio we have calculated time ratio third Divide the gross profit in the two periods on the basis of sales ratio. Whatever gross profit we got by making trading account, already we have prepared the trading account. We got the gross profit for the whole year. Now divide this gross profit in the ratio of sales. We have already calculated sales ratio. The sales ratio two is to nine. In that two is to nine ratio, the gross profit will be distributed between pre and post. So we will get the gross profit for pre-incorporation, gross profit for the post-incorporation. Next, expenses relating to sales. Example: commission on sales, discount allowed, bad debts, advertising, etc., should be apportioned on the basis of sales ratio. Now we have to scrutinize the expenses. Some expenses are related to sales, and some expenses are related to time. Example of expenses you have to remember. Example of expenses which are related to sales are. commission bad debts discount allowed advertising these are the expenses which are related to sales so these expenses should be divided apportioned in the sales ratio secondly expenses related to time example rent rates and taxes insurance depreciation salary of general staff should be allocated on the base of time ratio now some expenditure are there which are not related to sales it is related to time example rent is paid according to time salaries are paid according to time depreciation according to time insurance according to time so these are the expenses which are related to time so we use time ratio to divide these expenses so some expenses on sales ratio some expenses are divided in sales ratio some expenses are divided in time ratio expenses which are exclusively related to pre and post incorporation period must be charged entirely to that period now you will find some expenses which are exclusively only pre pre incorporation and are exclusively for the post incorporation if you find any expenses which is exclusively for pre to charge the whole expenditure to pre incorporation period similarly if you find any expenditure which is exclusively related to post to charge it to post expense the example for these are debenture interest preliminary expenses directors fees are to be charged against post incorporation so this debenture interest or preliminary expenses or directors fees these are the things which you find in company so you have to charge the whole expenditure to post only similarly some expenses like partner salary partners interest on capital are to be charged against the profit of pre incorporation partner salary partners interest on capital these are few items which are related only to pre so charge to pre incorporation period like this we divide all expenses into pre and post then deduct all these pre and post expenses from the gross profit will get the net profit in this way separately we can get the profit prior to incorporation and profit post incorporation that's it this is the complete theory regarding profit prior to incorporation if you want the complete detail and problems go to the playlist of my channel select the subject advanced accounting select the videos of profit prior to incorporation you will get the problems and solutions of so many problems inshallah we'll take up the next topic in the next video